here we are at the museum, Wotorohanga Museum. You can see that fireplace where I did the musings of a shapeshifter, you know, with a cat in the heart. That's from that view. So if you want to have a look down there, there's paintings that I did before I even knew this was a museum. But I arrived here one morning, checked it out. It was two years ago. And now I'm, I'm here as a committee, <laughs> committee member. Ko Rangitoto te maunga, ko Waipā te awa, ko Ngāti Mani Wato te iwi, ko Otewa te marae, ko te hukinga mai ki te nehe nehe nui, te whare tupuna, ko Hedy Anderson tōku ingoa, tēnā koutou katoa. I had always been interested in art because I was raised uh, with my grandparents who were in the tradition of whakairo and rāranga, so I grew up with traditional Māori art all around me. So I, I've done a lot of jobs. I've been a cleaner, teacher, admin. I've done all of those, but everything always came back to art. So I did my master's. It was quite an investment. And I decided there that I was going to absorb everyone's kōrero, take it in, and uh, learn everything I can. And came out with, uh, with first class honours. Then I launched a serious career in art, in the practice that I have now. So this is the um, my uncle's pa. You see here I do take photos of pots and things like that. Because, you know, what I do when I get to the pa is out in the kitchen. So, you know, I really love these reflective surfaces and how people have stacked them up. I like observing composition. So in terms of photographing work, I use that as a tool to record and collect time and space and places that I've been. And I've taken out of that fast photography approach, you know, I've taken, extracted it from there and I've transferred it into a slow acting, <laughs> you know, piece of artwork. I like the um, composition actually of the of the colours. Oh, my grandparents used to have these. I remember this from my childhood, so you know that whole recollection of childhood kind of thing. Jubilee Jersey trophy. So that will be for most points in pedigree Jersey. Jersey cows. Here's a cow right there. So I started, you know, seeing a lot of family names and things that you got awards for that you don't you don't these days. The works in Toi Tu Toi Ora look at the life of Māori or life of us. And I'm interested in how we work together, play together, we express our cultural identity. So with the, with the, the people that are in black at, at Tokikapu, that is just in between tapu and a noa process of eating that we're still in the middle of that so I I recognize that space yeah and then there's the vis vest I like that coming together of ancestor and and the person but I also like the um the separation of time between them I collect those for the next generation and it's not like this is what you do but this is what we've done this is kind of like what this work is about well, my practice is about. Well, the reason why I make is history. It's my history, um, my legacy of my grandparents. They had a practice that I learned from as well, and I didn't even realise it until I had my own. It's seeing that it's because of my love of art that is hereditary. I just can't think of myself doing anything else then I have to commit to it. I've got it written down here somewhere. Learn your craft. And then I put that there to remind me. So I have to learn everything there is to know about what I, what I do.